everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are doing another round of looking and giving my opinions on advent calendars, specifically makeup advent calendars or general beauty advent calendars. Some of them have not been the greatest this year especially with the price ranges these beauty companies have the audacity to put on them i'm a bit appalled <laughs> i'm shocked but that's what we're going to be doing today this is going to be a part three so if you are interested in any other videos i do have a part one and part two of course because this is a part three so i will leave all of those linked down below for you as well as all the advent calendars that we're going to be looking at today so we'll just get straight into it i've got a new sort of setup so let me know if you like it because if you prefer this setup for when i look at makeup and like advent calendars i can do it like this instead of just me sitting there so let me know which one that you prefer and I will do that for you. But this first calendar we are looking at is the Pretty Little Thing Beauty Advent Calendar of 2023. And it is apparently worth £198. It does originally retail for £48, like the whole thing. But at the moment there's a 6% off. So it is on for £45. Which for a advent calendar, without looking what's inside of it first, is quite a good price. It's quite like the standard price I would say of what a calendar that's not high end should be. I haven't looked at any of these advent calendars by the way so it is a first look with you of course as always. So this is the only image we get of the advent calendar. I am blocking a little bit of it but I will tell you what's behind my face like in, in this like in this of a corner the only thing i'm really blocking is three things one of them is a lip balm i don't know if i can zoom in there you are it's like a hand cream it's paint i think it's the aroma active repair cream I'm not completely sure but there is also a face sponge here which is the crush works i believe it's called for the first look of it I believe they are kind of gunning for all minis but there are a few that are full sized and I'm not completely sure which ones are full sized. I just got really distracted. We've time travelled. We're in the year 2023. 20, 20, <laughs> 20,223. I am really old at this point. What was I saying? Yes, minis. <laughs> So I think they are all minis, although I cannot be for certain just because it looks like they could have manipulated the size just to squeeze everything in and make it look aesthetically pleasing. But just looking at it, the array of beauty products they have in there is quite good. I suppose it is a general beauty advent calendar, of course, but then you've also got things like a pencil sharpener, which that's one of the things I don't like in advent calendars just because you can get a pencil sharpener in well anywhere like like let's say for Asda's you can get a pencil sharpener for like a pound so I feel like putting a pencil sharpener in an advent calendar is kind of it's 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 a scam did you see what I did there it's a scam but there is a vast array of products and I can see a Cetaphil skin cleanser which I have an oil one I believe that I got from the Superdrug Presents event and even though it looks really tiny because I've been travelling a lot like I had the NYX bash and then I also recently had a family event on the weekend I took that with me to both of them and it actually has quite a lot on it and it all you need is like a tiny bit and it lasts i used it m like multiple times and it still is pretty full so don't be fooled by some of the small sizes uh so first look like i said not fan of the sharpener i feel like it's kind of the same with the eyelash curlers but i suppose it depends on if you already have one or not there are some scrunchies in here which I'm a bit, I'm in an erring about because 
I feel like it's kind of one of those categories where you see them in an advent calendar and you're like, oh my god, like tweezers or stickers. I've been seeing quite a bit lately, so mm, not the greatest. The one thing I'm not really loving is these lashes, but that is purely just personal preference for me. I don't really tend to wear lashes a lot. I did give it a go at one point in my self-employed career of content creating, but it's just not for me. Really irritating on my eyes and it just feels so heavy, so... I, I do wear it occasionally, especially if the look calls for it, but I don't really like full lashes like those ones. But that's not on the brand, that's just personal preference. Moving on to the design of this box, I'd say it's a pretty standard advent calendar box. I do really like the design of this just because I feel like it's so sophisticated and so lovely and it goes together really really nicely. I don't know, it's just typical pretty little thing, you know, it's their brand and I do like the, I don't know what you'd call it, I'd say metal tones, metals, because it's like you've got the rose gold, the gold, and then you've got like, you know, please tell me this is making sense. I do really like it and of course you do have the two dory kind of style so another one where you'd have to lay it flat if you want to get one from the bottom but i don't suppose that's too much of a problem unless you want to display it then i wish you luck <laughs> but yeah i really do like the packaging of this i i don't really say it on the other advent calendars but you can reuse these boxes and especially if you have like little ones or other people who do advent calendars I suppose you could use those for sweets or chocolate and you can reuse them for other little bits. Or maybe even stationery. I think that's really, really good. Or because one of the new things is doing like a calendar thing for counting to someone's birthday. And so this could be really useful to reuse. The one thing that I do like with this, well, not one thing. One thing I've seen that I do like about this is that it comes with reusable wands. It's the first time I've ever seen something like that actually. You don't really see that a lot and I think that's really really good. Especially if there's something you don't really like. You want to give something a go and you don't end up really liking it. Like the mascara. You can pass it on to somebody else like friends or family while still being hygienic i really do like that although if it is gonna be less than a five or a ten pack then i'd say don't do it just please don't do it it'd be absolutely useless it'll be like the tweezers and the sharpeners i don't know if this code is limited time i assume so i assume it'll be up to halloween but if you are interested there is this code again not sure if this works for the advent calendar but it is there in case it is. <laughs> On to the next advent calendar. So this is the Look Fantastic advent calendar of 2023. This is supposedly worth over £565 and it retails for £99, which I think is pretty good and with a lot of these advent calendars i don't recognize a lot of the brands i feel like i suppose it is useful if you want to explore these brands but i i, I don't know I don't know if it's just a me thing but i like familiarity so it kind of throws me off slightly but with this advent calendar it says you get 27 beauty delights and that there is 12 full sized so not great not bad i'm a bit confused what they mean by 27 unless they're gonna put a few in one like little cubby hole because it is a countdown to christmas and christmas isn't on the 27th day so i don't know what they're trying to do with that at the moment looking really really good so this at the moment is the list of all the contents in the box and there is a vast array of different like beauty niches you've got quite a bit of skincare quite a bit of cosmetics hair care 
body care although don't be fooled it ends here for body care so it's not all the way down here like i thought it was at first glance if i was bothered i would actually make like a graph to see the ratio of which niche has the most full size products so i thought like that would be quite interesting although i feel like i'm a, I'm a bit intrigued about deluxe sizes like it says it in this bit there there does that count as full sized or is that like a, a posh term for mini because i don't see any mini sizes so i think deluxe sizes are the minis deluxe to me is fancy and like big so i don't know it confuses me a bit this confuses me <laughs> So I'm going to focus just quickly on the cosmetics specifically just because that's what interests me the most. Of course it will be linked down below if you do want to look at like either the hair care or the skin care but I'm going to look at the makeup for this one. I do recognise all of these brands which are really really good and I think they're all quite good variety of makeup things and like products there's there is a vast array of brands included in this which i think is really really good all these together just price alone definitely makes up for that 99 pound because i know a lot of these can be quite expensive especially with a mixture of like nars and mac it's not looking too bad there are quite a lot of full-sized makeup products which i am happy about nothing too bad there this is the picture that they have a bit yeah just looking at that it doesn't look half bad really i'm not upset about this or anything they don't really have a picture of the advent calendar included in this this is the most we see of the advent calendar just looking at this i can't really grasp what it is i'll try and zoom in slightly yeah i can't really grasp what it is but it just looks like a box with like pull out drawers but then that's not enough i'm so confused on what it's supposed to look like it might be one like a half a month each side i don't really know this is really confusing me i'm bamboozled oh, there has to be because i don't think that iconic london is fitting in any of those drawers like that eyeshadow palette this one right here there i don't know if that actually circled it but you know what i'm on about but yeah i'm not completely fond of the patterning on this it reminds me of those weird like wallpaper designs you'll see in the 60s when everyone went crazy over wallpaper mm. yeah I, I, i'm gonna have to say the inside contents make up for the outside <laughs> i'm so confused i'm gonna have to see if there's another picture of this i'll include it somewhere on the screen for you but um i don't know over here are the look fantastic brushes that are included um not quite sure about them they do look quite nice and fluffy but of course you don't really know that until you actually feel it so I suppose I'm going to have to be on the fence about this one just because I don't know. I don't really have it. So the last thing I will say is for you, if you are a box subscriber, you can save £15 on every beauty advent calendar, making each one just £84. Not too shabby. Let's look at the next one. This next one is the Benefit Cosmetics All I Want Advent Calendar. And I'm looking at this on the Sephora website. So I will link this one down below. It's apparently worth £281 and retails for £145. I don't know where to start with this advent calendar. It looks like it only includes four full sizes it costs more than the look fantastic one i just looked at that had 12 so i'm really confused on where this money like what you're putting your money into they look absolutely tiny i am not a fan of this one so this is everything that the advent calendar includes i 
I'm actually really, really sad. So this makes me sad. Some of these products aren't even two grand. One of them is literally one gram. So you're paying that much just for a product that gives you one gram. I just think that's really, really bad. See, I don't mind a benefit product, but when you're paying that much just for one gram of a product, I feel like that's absolutely taking the mick a bit. There are so many better benefit cosmetic gift sets that I have seen that are worth so much more than this. With my Selfridges gift card, I've got myself... I've got it with me, actually. So this is what I got from Selfridges and it is four mascaras and one of them is a mini one and it's their new one which is the fan fest one which is this little one right here and I'm confused because this one is supposed to be three grams but this one here that comes with the same one is four grams for the retail price of this is i believe it was like 40 pounds 45 pounds and you get three full-sized benefit mascaras which are like 20 quid so just those three alone would be like 60 quid but then you also get the mini which is four grams and not three grams so already just that little gift set is so much better than this i don't know i mean Minis can be useful. I'm, I'm not going to say minis aren't, especially, like I said, when you're going travelling and you're going to be in different hotels or different places. Minis can literally be a lifesaver. But if you're paying £150 for a bunch of minis, it's definitely not worth it. I do have to say, I do like the packaging of this box. Again, this is the only picture on this website, so I can't say much about it. But I suppose if it is an advent calendar, which it is, it will probably be like a door. So I'm going to suspect that the thing holding it together comes off and then it will open like doors. Yeah, I'm just... No, this is actually so bad. Well, let's get on to the last advent calendar before I cry. So this last advent calendar for today's video is the Sephora Favourites advent calendar. And it does value apparently £1,045, which insane. It will cost you £189, which is a massive leap that isn't that isn't even jumping off a cliff that's like jumping off 200 mount everests into the ocean that is a big difference one thing i wanted to say actually after coming from the benefit one is i want to know how they calculate their value especially from the benefit one because they do have a lot of mini products in these advent calendars like i've said but i wonder if they calculate the full size product to be the value because there's no way that a bunch of minis will cost you like 200 pounds i'd say like one mini if it's definitely high end will be like a tenner but yeah i'd love to see the process behind that but moving on from the benefit monstrosity this favourites advent calendar looks like a mixture of makeup and skincare. You can see a candle down there, which is quite... I don't know when we started putting candles in advent calendars because I don't see it as beauty or related at all. And I have never seen anyone buying candles from Sephora, so I don't know how that's been put in a favourites when I've never seen anyone mention I didn't even know they sell candles uh, but I suppose some people might you never know everybody truly so this is supposed to be filled with 36 products which again they're gonna put multiple in one drawer that's that's actually quite mad <laughs> the best part is as well is that 23 of them are full sized which is actually really insane especially for just 189 pounds that's really really good 
So as you can see here, there are a vast array of products. So you've got self-tan, serum, eye creams, moisturizers, nail polish, some makeup, and some hair masks and bits. Like here, a muscle gel. That's very intriguing. And of course, I don't know all of these products. I don't know if they're all good or not, so I can't say for certain if this is definitely worth your money. But from what I've seen and what I've heard, these are all quite good products. So, and especially because you're getting 23 full size products, how you, you can't go wrong with that at all. So, moving on from the products, let's look at the packaging. This is the outside of it and I think it is, I'm not sure about it, maybe I feel like it's going to be one of those ones where it looks better in real life than it does on my screen. If this is not just the lighting then I do really love this ombre effect, especially with, it looks like a paint splatter but it just filled with stars there's a bunch of flickering stars or shooting stars and i think that's a really really nice touch to it i think the splatters definitely added something extra if they just did the stars but orange is definitely not a color you see a lot around christmas time so i think that this is out there and i think they definitely have pulled it off very very well and so the bottom drawer does pull out and the top one pulls up. There you are, here's the inside. This one will not collapse on you if you want something inside of it, which is really, really good. Again, definitely something that you can reuse after the Christmas period, or you can even use it for the next Christmas period for next year. What would be quite cool is if you kept this, and then throughout the year, especially if there's like three for two sales, they do a lot in Superdrug, or you'll get a sample. Because I know that I know they do a lot of samples in America. So if you're American and you get a lot of samples, you can keep them and like stash them. And then when Christmas comes, you can take everything you've collected and like the three for two or your samples and put it into this and create your own advent calendar. And I feel like that will be so good, especially because it's things that you want and things that you know you're going to use. Because even though advent calendars are exciting, they can be very, very fun. A lot of the times there are a lot of calendars where you don't use everything and it can feel like a bit of a waste so I feel like that would be very fun but going back to this it is so lovely and it's so easy and if you get a mirror you can literally stick that on the top part of it and that could be like a portable makeup box with you everywhere but yeah I'm really liking this advent calendar I'm just really shocked how they've managed to get a grand advent calendar value down to almost £200. That's such a gap. How are they earning anything? <laughs> so that is all the new advent calendars that I have seen at the moment. It is a bit of a, a seesaw of value and products. I think that last Sephora one was so good i'm still confused on how they're able to price it for that range if you've got 23 full-size products that are worth a grand especially with 37 37 products in it in general that's actually quite insane that benefit one is atrocious you'll pick that one up and throw it straight in the bin not if you paid for it though that would be even worse if you've already paid for it <laughs> You better use up all those products, otherwise... So, Pretty Little Thing one is not too bad. There's definitely some people that will love that. Just me personally, I, it's not my favourite, but I'm not everyone. So if you like it, then I'm happy for you. <laughs> yeah, the Look Fantastic one. What was the Look Fantastic one? Yeah, I think the Look Fantastic one isn't bad either. It's just not really memorable for me and I don't think I'll use a lot of the products inside of it. But of course, again, 
if it's something interesting for you then I think it's definitely worth it for the money thank you so much for watching this video let me know what you think of the advent calendars and which one absolutely suck benefit if you are new here please do subscribe i post new content um i'd say weekly but it's not for certain i post new content quite a bit and if you did like this video then please do like this video it does mean a lot to me i just want to say as well as the year is coming to a close that i just want to say thank you to everybody uh, of course we've still got quite a bit to go but i haven't been on youtube for too long but i'm already appreciating the love from everybody and i cannot wait to see how not even next year but how the rest of this year is gonna be it's got so many things planned for you i'm just so excited to be on this journey but yes enough of this and i will see you in the next video bye it's rsn